market. It's time now for Retirement Ready, brought to you by Fidelity Investments. Today, we're joined by Charlie Nelson. He's the CEO of Retirement and Employee Benefits over at Voya. And, and Charlie, I want to start with um, some of the results from a recent survey uh, that you guys ran on how Americans feel about their finances uh, in this time of COVID-19. And, and one stat stuck out to me, which is that 83% of folks said they are staying the course with their investments. Uh, to me, that that's quite encouraging news. Was this number perhaps higher uh, than you, you might have expected uh, that to be going into this? Well, uh, thanks, and, and good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, we're very uh, pleased with that result, and, and you know, we're seeing it in the activities of participants in our, you know, the five and a half million participants that we have in 401k type plans across America, that generally they're staying the course, sticking with their plan, where 95% of participants plus have not made a transfer, uh, transfer between funds during all this market volatility. So they're staying the course. Many of them are revaluating their plan with their advisor, but it's really good news in terms of um, just their overall planning. And now another number in here, Charlie, 89% of folks uh, said the pandemic continues to influence their decisions. I think uh, for investors, maybe that had uh, over the month of May gotten very excited about a V-shaped recovery or a, maybe just a swifter than expected rebound. Uh, that to me sounds like people view this almost as a permanent um, change in, in how they go about uh, kind of conducting and spending and saving and all that. Yeah, you're right, Miles. And you know, also we saw in the survey that 31% um, you know, of the people are expecting um, a return to normal during the fall or even later this year, which, you know, only that's only 31 percent. So, you know, the vast majority are not expecting that. So to your point, it's kind of the, the normal um, that they are now kind of adjusting to. And, and, you know, we're doing the same adjustment even inside of Boya. You know, prior to, um, you know, all the COVID, we had about 20 percent of our employees work from home. Um, we're 95 percent plus right now. And now kind of reevaluating what will that look like, uh, you know, as we go back, I think it'll certainly be much higher than 20%, um, but not all the way up to 95, you know, on an ongoing basis. Charlie, Dan Roberts here. Uh, we had today the, the Wall Street Journal um, report on economist sentiment and thinking about a, a recovery, something like 60 something percent uh, thinking that we'll see a recovery in Q3 and then others 30 uh, something percent saying, oh, we already started the recovery. But for you guys at Voya, we're talking a lot about retirement. We're really talking about two different age demographics, right? And, you know, there are young people and you look at the employment numbers, it's hard to be that optimistic about already being in recovery. We're at 14% unemployment. Um, what are you guys telling your clients in terms of the different ages? Because I guess, I mean, there's a certain demographic of people who could be very optimistic right now and maybe can afford to be. And then there are maybe younger Americans who are very concerned about the future. And especially if they lost their jobs, they're not saving much for retirement right now. They're hurting. Yeah. So, you know, I think there's a number of uh, age demographics in there and they're, and we're all affected differently. Certainly there's a number of people that are hurting that have been impacted significantly, you know, whether they you know have no paycheck or a lower paycheck because of the amount of work that they're getting and the impact that that has on their finances and in their planning. Um, you know, on the other side of the coin, some of the older employees, we've seen some of these uh, tougher times where, um, you know, the market's been volatile um, and, you know, there's, you know, unemployment has been high, you know, as high as 10 percent back in the 80s and various points in time. Um, you know, even 2008, it, it kind of pushed up into that range as well. So I think, you know, many of us have kind of seen it and we've worked through it and we understand that if you have a plan, you stick to it um, and you, you, know, you have to adjust um, and, and not kind of overreact to things. And what's encouraging is, you know, it's a general rule. We're seeing some of the younger employees also stay the course, as I talked about earlier, which is most people are staying the course. That's still true, even in some of our younger participants in retirement plans. And Charlie, going off of that, it was interesting. There was a new TD Ameritrade survey that uh, Yahoo Finance took a look into, and it actually found that a third of Americans say that they may never retire because of the hardships endured uh, from the coronavirus. I'm just curious, just in terms of what you're hearing from your clients about the timeline of when they do plan to retire and if, you, if they have changed over the last couple of months? Uh, certainly. We are hearing more and more that people are either considering to delay um, or that the, you know, the, the recent events has impacted kind of their plans for retirement. You know, I think you know, the, the definition of retirement in America has changed. It's not the traditional 
uh, maybe what some would think of is, you know, you hit age 65 and you, you go do what you're going to do and play with the grandkids, go fishing, golf or whatever. Now it's really more about kind of maybe even that second career. Uh, and maybe so this this kind of a situation is allow you know, is maybe asking people or, and, uh, to, to kind of rethink their timeline um, because of the finance changes relative to their account and what they expect from an income and how it's you know, maybe impacted their savings. And we've seen it as a lot of people have not dipped into their retirement savings quite as much as some might have, some might have thought. So that means they've dipped into other emergency savings. So that's the other factor that I think some people are thinking about in terms of how it impacts uh, their, their retirement date or what their retirement is gonna look like. All right, Charlie Nelson, CEO of Retirement and Employee Benefits at Voya. Uh, Charlie, always great to get your thoughts. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, have a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Take care.